What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Tokes Outdoors. Today we are not going to be going to the lake. I'm sorry, but we will be taking a peek at the fabulous deals that I got from Dick's Sporting Goods. Stay tuned. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Tokes Outdoors. We your host, Tokes himself. <laughs> um, but uh, real quick guys, um, we're back in the studio. Um, still doing a lot of work in here. But um, I got home a little late to go fishing, so um, I'm going to utilize this time to um, go over what I ended up picking up yesterday from Dick Sporting Goods. Um, I, I'll go in there a couple times a week and um, they'll have deals here, deals there. Um, but anyways, I went in there and I was told that uh, the new Guggen Baits might be going in there. I went in yesterday to check them out and um, there was actually a box sitting right in front of the uh, Guggen Bait display. And I happened to look down and I said, well... What do we have here? I seen a white bait. I seen a white bait. I saw this. And I'm like, what? A white, a white Guggen bait? And I looked and I said, oh, it's the Lunker Log. So I grabbed me, had to grab me. I normally don't throw um, worm, you know, stick bait, white stick bait. I, I honestly have never really come across them nor have ever thought to throw them, but a lot of pearl, a lot of clear, um, the albinos, the pearls, the white, they all get eaten up like crazy on my lake. So I figure why not? Let's, let's try them out and it's a new bait. And where can you go wrong with throwing a stick bait? I mean, it's a normal five inch stick bait says it's covered in slant sauce so I mean why not let's actually take a look at one of these I love how you can just open these up and they're prepackaged in their own little own little plastic oh yeah that's juicy that's freaking juicy. She gets her focus. But, yeah, really, I mean, wacky rig that sucker. And that's going to come floating right in front of that fish's face like that. Yeah, and it's covered in salt, which is their slanch sauce or salt. I don't know, but but I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> this is going to hammer them. I already know it. But now mainly, 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 I went there for the Rattling Ned. Listen guys, I about pooped myself when I figured out the Texas rig. Now this summer, 
I figured out the Ned Rig, and I've been fishing nothing but the Ned Rig. And then AR Casting put me on the Drop Shot. Never been interested in the Drop Shot. For, I don't know why. Just maybe because of the extra work that goes into rigging it. It just never appealed to me. But when AR Casting was slaying these fish, like, I mean, he, he put me to shame on my own lake. And I'm like, holy crap, they, they, it's got to work. So, you know, I, I ordered, you know, new stuff and ended up, you know, loving it. So, listen, Texas rig, every other rig is in the past. This year has been nothing but Ned rig and uh, uh, drop shot. So, drop shot, Ned rig, everything else is in the past. But... You hear that? The Ned Rig, I mean, you can't go wrong. Fish love them. Smallmouth, largemouth, crappies, bluegill, pike, any, any of these uh, freshwater fish will eat these up. And the Ned Rig is just so versatile that you can just, you know, use it and, you know, throw it in the weeds. Throw it outside the weed line and bring it into the weeds. That's where I get my best look. Is I'll throw it about five feet out of the weed line and I will bring it into the weeds and let it bounce off the weeds and that's when it gets hammered hammered but i mean when i when i heard that these uh new Guggen baits the rattling ned had a freaking rattle in them game over game changer game changer checkmate game over Let's take a look at this. And this one is, I'm sorry, that one lunker log was called the Pearl. This one, I got two, or I got three different colors. Um, now this one is the Mooncake. Where it's green on one side and MOC on the other. I want to say Mocha. I don't know. Mocha. I don't know, MOC. Oh, wow. You can actually see the, the BBs inside there. See the BB in there? There's two of them in there. But. Oh, wait. God, this is pretty. So just like a lot of their plastics, you're gonna have one color on one side and another color on the other. I think that's flossy and as juicy as it gets. But look at that. God, that's pretty. Makes me wanna try to give it a bite. That right there is the moon cake. You know, and I'm not going to go through and show you guys the other colors. Um, I can tell you, but I'm not going to go and open them up and show you. I think that's a waste of time. Um, but that right there is going to be the juice. Um, but I also got the black flash and the rat one that. And the smelt. This smelt is like a silver on one on one side and uh, green on the other. Green and then silver. This one is just black with uh, kind of like a watermelon and purple June bug flake in there. But no, this was part of the deal that I got. It was buy three, get one free. So as that said and done, um, that was, that was the deal, the, which really isn't much, but buy, buy three, get one. And I see that a lot at Dick's, see that a lot at Dick's. Um, also got me some wide gap four out hooks while I was there. No deal on those. Now here's the, here's the deal guys. It was buy five, get five free. Um, and they were already marked down. Um, 
all the Lunker Hunt baits, top waters and everything. And there was a bunch of other ones. I seen miss, missile baits um, on there. I seen quite a few of them else, but it was mostly all Lunker Hunt. Um, and these were baits that I that I wanted to try. Top water isn't really my thing, but I wanted to get into it this year because really where I have access to doesn't really have um, you know pads or or uh, weeds. You know. Um, Nothing where a frog's going to be swimming through. Whopper Plopper does pretty damn good, but, you know, frogs really don't. Um, but, anyways, I went through, and I got 10 by 5 get 5 free, so that's 10. Um, I got me the uh, Lunker Hunt, Lunker Frog. Frog. Just these are all in different colors. Oh, I'm sorry, the yellow belly. This one looks more realistic to the frogs that are near me. Um, same with this one. Now this one has a yellow belly. This one has a yellow and white belly. So they both are more realistic. Um, the other, this other one is just an albino white frog. Um, and then I got the yappa rat. The, uh, the walking bait, topwater walking bait, this thing looks crazy good. Crazy, crazy good. And mind you, these were all like marked down to like six bucks, seven bucks. Um, I also have the Yappa Bug. got like a red red and orange bottom to it I got me the Lunker Hunt Kraken series just look at top water um, top water bait it's like a floating floating crank that's top water And, well, I was also debating on getting this, the turtle, or the, um, or the, uh, I think Savage Gear was also on there with their duck. But, I got the prop turtle. juicy guys that prop turtle and also I had to get me I've gotten big into swim baits guys big into swim baits and when I saw these the fetch I had to get them Also got the storm search bait, guys. This thing is freaking juicy. The one that I bought before this, um, this was part of the that deal too. So this is my tenth bait. Um, but I bought the uh, this color, but the uh, flakes in it were black. To match my crappies that I have in that lake and I mean this thing I mean it's got weight to it four and a half inches long I mean this thing is was just beast 
beast, beast, beast. But the only crappy thing is, is it comes with uh, with one jig head, um, swim head. But yeah, anyways, guys, this is juicy. The only bad thing about it is, is you only get one of these. So if you lose it, you better hope you have some uh, swim jig heads around, swim jigs around. But back to uh, back to what I was saying about dicks is uh, I love dicks. Um, ha, gay. Trying to get the eleven-year-old me out of out of the way. I love dick sporting goods, um, and I I have Bass Pro Shop near me, um, but Dick Sporting Goods is closer. Uh, Bass Pro Shop is probably about a good half-hour drive away, um, which isn't bad. But when I'm in a rush, I go to Dick Sporting Goods. Um, but anyways, um, I love that store still. I still go there. Um, check out their, your stores, your local uh, Dick Sporting Goods stores because they have these deals a lot. Um, when I saw these swim baits on there, I had to get them. And these are freaking juicy. Look at these. That's the Lunker Fetch. And it's got where you can tuck the hook on in there. This thing, look at that paddle tail. But um, this is four and a half inches long. Four and a half inches long. It gives you the directions on how to hook it. But it also says the Lunker Hut Fetch is a professional grade swim bait that is designed for anglers of all skill levels. The Fetch swim bait casts far and has a neutral and steady action, fast or slow retrieve speeds. This enables it to stay in the strike zone longer even at slow speeds the fetch resembles live bait and predator fish cannot resist it hoorah yeah this thing's juicy guys i can't wait to catch some fish with this um check out this prop frog real quick oh yeah so you got the trailer, oh, oh, oh. You, you got the trailer hook, so you got the paddle feet that are going to make a bunch of commotion on the top water, plop, 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 and then you also have, oh man, they're going to bite down and they're going to catch these two hooks, so that, that's the thing, they're going to come here and they're going to bite down. When they bite down, they're going to push this close. And that's when you're going to rip up. And if you don't catch them with these two hooks, you're going to catch them with this trailer hook. What a freaking cool design. How cool. Next up is the walking frog. This is the Kraken walking frog. <laughs> now this thing's just hideous looking. But, you hear that rattle inside there too? So this is going to float and you're going to walk it. On the top. That's freaking cool though. Can't wait to try that one out. Now here is the Yappa Bug. All right guys, so here is the Yappa Bug. Now, it's got that cupped face for, it's gonna have more water displacement when you're walking it. And it's going to stir up the fish. It's going to call in more fish to come. And it's also got those turned up hooks on this one too. Because that's a soft squishy. Right there. And these turned up hooks. Better for hookup ratio on there. Those are some sharp sticky hooks too. Wow. Lunker hunt. Yep, a bug. I don't even know what the hell.
what kind of bug that looks like other than a cockroach. Cockroach. Fucking cockroach. Let's get this yucko rat going. It's the same setup. That right there is the yucko rat. And uh, same thing, it's got the, the cupped face, displaces more water, and it's got the same upturned hook for better hookup ratio. But it's also got that tail right there. I would, no, you don't even have to trim that up. That's short enough. The only thing with these, with these tails and stuff on these is that it worries me that the fish are going to want to bite that instead of come up and take the bait. But I think that's a little bit short enough. I might take a little bit off, but where's the tail going to go then, you know? These have tails for a reason, but yep, a rat down. Next up is the prop frog, and I'm only going to pull one of these out to show you. But anyways, same thing like that, um, that turtle is you have that nice, well, you have the upturned hooks right here. You have that pretty, pretty, pretty trailer hook right here that's going to help you hook. And then you also have these propeller style paddle feet here, which are going to cause a whole bunch of water displacement and a whole bunch of sound and vibration and it's going to call the fish in and they're going to come in here and eat this juicy looking topwater prop frog. Good stuff right here. Right here is the lunker frog. Now this is what I like about this right here. Is that it has the uh, the legs, the real life action legs on here, and uh, with the uh, you want to pull it. See how those legs come out. You want to retrieve it and then make the legs come out and pause. Retrieve it, pause. Retrieve it, pause. So it's gonna kick the legs out. And I mean, if, if you, you can't get more realistic than this, guys. This thing, same hook, same upturned hook. No trailer hook, though. No trailer hook at all. But that's the only thing that worries me about these legs is that they're going to want to grab. I mean, I don't want to stop grabbing these legs, you know. So think of a fish that wants to eat it. They're probably going to want to. Grab the shit out of these legs. But um, anyways, that is the Lunker Frog. Juicy, juicy Lunker Frog. Look at that bottom. That's what they're going to be seeing. Is that bottom and these legs. Going through their water. How can you resist that? That's that, guys. Um, can't forget the wide gap hooks. But um, yeah, VMC and Gamagatsu are my go-to hooks, guys. They, uh, tried and true, never fail me. But, um, also guys, I wanna take a quick second and thank you guys. Um, right now we're pushing 100 subs. We're pushing 100 subs. I just did a thank you for, for 50 subs. And I mean, for being over, you know, a month of doing this, and this is just a lot of fun for me, guys. Um, like it takes, uh, I don't know how to say it, um, but um, it takes a lot of stuff off my off my shoulders. Fishing is my go-to stress reliever. It, uh, you know, when you deal with anxiety and uh, stress, um, you, you know, you want something, you want a hobby, you want a safe place um, to get rid of it. And fishing is definitely um, my go-to for that. And um, I just want to thank you guys for uh, supporting me on this. Uh, on this journey 
Um, it means a lot to me. But with that being said, I just want to say thank you guys. It, uh, it really means a lot. It really, really does mean a lot to me. Um, it's just something that, that I've been doing for a while. And um, just thinking about, hey, well, you know, we get some crazy stuff that happens on here. Why don't we get a GoPro and record it? Hey, why don't we, you know, put this on YouTube and see if other people enjoy it? And I will tell you guys what. So I made a promise to myself that I'm going to be myself this whole time. I'm not going to, you know, put on this fake, um, you know, be this fake character. Um, you know, pretend I'm hunky-dory. You know, uh, I'm just going to be me. And when this stops becoming fun, you know, and becomes a job, that's when I'm going to have to reevaluate, you know, what I'm doing. And I don't think this will ever become a job for me. This is always going to be fun. This is always going to be my go-to safe haven. Um, fishing in general is is what we do here and you know we're average joes on this channel um just having fun so i hope you guys really enjoy what you're what you're seeing i appreciate each and every one of you guys for showing the the support that you guys have so far and uh that 100 subs is a huge stepping stone for for me and i can't believe we got there that quick um it may not seem a lot to some of you but for for me just uploading random up videos and having fun editing that's that's more than I'm enough for for me and i appreciate you guys so thank you guys here's to uh, another hundred more we'll see you again on the next episode talks outdoors yes, have a good one. No oh my god, oh my god, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my god, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I know I, I know I been the coast's greatest blessing.